I'm back with another quick Divi tutorial. Now this is something I use all the time. If you wanna know how to stack buttons side by side, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I will also show you the potential it has to do some pretty cool things. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I release weekly videos on marketing, web design, and content creation strategies. So if you find this information helpful, please give it a like. And without further ado, let's go to my computer and I'll show you how it's done. To show you how to stack buttons side by side, I am on a page on my website. This is just an example. We're gonna pretend that we have a coffee shop and that we wanna add two call to action buttons. So how might you do that? Your first instinct might just be to go in, add a new module, we'll add a button. Let's add some style to this really quickly. So I'm gonna go and turn on my custom styles for the buttons. We're just gonna make it a little crazy for a text color we'll go white we'll use this purple background color and then for my border color i'm also going to turn that purple let's change the text let's say that this first button we were going to give our customers the opportunity to order online so i could change that text there and maybe i decide that i want to go all caps with the text, I could do that. We could just change that font style. And then maybe the alignment. We know that we want these centered, right? So we could hit the center. Now, if you have one call to action button, that's cool, but how do you do two? So let's say, we'll just duplicate this one really quick. Let's say we had a second call to action and this button, we want it to say view menu. Now we want it to be styled slightly different so I will change, text color is white. We're gonna get rid of the background and then we're gonna change the border to white. So now we've got sort of a, a primary call to action button and a secondary one that they look a little bit different. So your eyes drawn more towards the order online rather than the view menu, but you want both options there. So, how do we stack these side by side? Now you might think, okay, we could use rows. So if we did a two column row, you could pull these buttons. We'll just drag and drop them. We'll drag this one down. So this out of the gate doesn't really work because they're so far apart. You could change the row width and you could slide those down. But you see, it's just like not ideal because depending on the length of your text, one button is a little bigger than the other. And so you get these little funky things that are happening and it's kind of frustrating. So is there a better way? Yes, how would I do this? All it takes is a little bit of CSS. So instead of doing a two column rows and messing with the columns, we're gonna do a separate row and the separate row is important. We're gonna do one column, I'm not gonna add any new modules. I will drag my buttons in We'll get rid of this guy. And so I just need to add a little bit of CSS to make this work. To add the CSS to this page, I will click my little button, my purple button down here, and I wanna access the page settings. So I will click the page settings. We'll go to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and then I'm gonna put my custom CSS right here. I'm gonna draw this window out just a little bit further so we can see it and I will paste the CSS right here. Scroll up so you can see it. There's two classes here. One I called button stack and the other one is actually targeting the module wrapper. So we've got one attribute to display inline block and then I've got a margin set. So if you are unfamiliar with when you have the two, this means top and bottom, this means left and right. So it means I don't want any margins on the top or the bottom, but I do want the buttons spaced at least 20 pixels apart. You can adjust this to whatever you desire. So if you think they're too close, too far apart, you have control of that. So the only thing that we need to do is add this class to our row, not to our individual buttons. So I'm gonna save this, and then we'll go up to our row settings. Click advanced. Under CSS ID and classes, I want to add a class. We'll do button stack. And automatically, you can see that now they are stacked side by side. 
They are not centered yet. We still have another step that we need to do, but we're getting closer to what we want. Now, while I'm in the row settings, all I need to do is add one more element of custom CSS, and we're gonna go to the main element. We are going to say text align, center, and then you could make it important if you want to, just so that it's guaranteed to centers. Now we're a little closer to what we wanted. Now, if you don't like the spacing in there and maybe it's too much, this is where you can go back to the page settings and then you can play with this number that we added in there. So if that's too close and we say, okay, 10 pixels, which will actually give us 20 pixels in between each of them because we're adding it to the left and the right, this might feel better. So I will click save there. If I wanna bring these, if I actually was styling this, I might wanna bring them a little bit closer to the headline. Maybe I wanna give a little bit more, you know, adjust the spacing there. Just making a couple adjustments so that you can actually read the copy in front of the cream on that copy. So this is how I would stack buttons. So it makes it a lot easier to manage and you can make any other adjustments that you need to for tablet or mobile version. Now I did mention that there is a pretty cool thing that you can do with it. It does have a lot of potential and I'm gonna show you that example here really quickly. I'm not gonna go deep into how to do it, but I just wanna show you what's possible. So these are four buttons that I have stacked. I thought it would be a really cool idea to be able to toggle out menu items just by clicking a button. And this actually requires a little bit of JavaScript to achieve this. The reason that I like using the individual buttons instead of like a menu item is because I have a lot more control when it comes to styling the buttons individually and targeting them to a specific block of content. Because really all that's happening here is when you click a button, it's actually triggering a row and hiding the rest of them that are there. So I've got four different rows with individual content, which are being triggered by the button, which I think is pretty cool. But again, we'll go into that another time. So let me know what you think in the comments. If there's anything that you're curious about or don't quite understand, just let me know and I can help you out. Another tutorial in the books. Now, if there's a specific tutorial that you would like to see, I'd be happy to show you. All you have to do is leave your request in the comments. And if you found this information helpful, please give it a like. If you wanna follow me along on this journey, consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.